Alright guys, you know the drill. Rage TV. Um, Rage Boo. And I'm actually here with Rigger, a leader of Clan Pew Pew, if you want to say hello, Rigger. Hello. Oh, everybody. And uh, just announcing who's playing right now. It looks like uh, Easy Mode's Aloyan and Searing, bottom left-hand side. Top left, it's going to be Babe, <laughs> Venari, <laughs> and Easy Mode Chupacabra. I like this name too, Venari. What's your name, girl? Venari. <laughs> LOLs R R Rush and R P T Luftwaffe. Does that's like totally is like is that French or something? Luftwaffe. 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 I don't know. I think it'd be like. I think the F's kind of sound like V's, I think, in French. I don't know. I don't speak it, even though I am it. But uh, that's another story. Bottom right's going to be Skygrabber with Taldream. And here we go. It looks like everyone's already underway. Some lings uh, going around. It's going to be some good vision uh, for Rush. It looks like he has full vision of the map. And Rigger, do you want to announce what these guys are going? No, not really. All right. Thank you, I'm Rigger. Just <laughs> I'm just kidding. Left Waffa, top right, has a DT, it looks like. And Skygrabber come out with the DT again. Uh, we have a Ghost for uh, Fine. And a Mando coming out for Boob. <laughs> <laughs> boob. Oh. Clan Boob. Of course, Tal came out with a Battle Cruiser. Overseer coming out, and Chupa also has Reapers. Does he not see that Zeratul in the middle? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he got away. They need to increase the Observer range, I think, just a little. I agree, with cloaked units and burrowed units. It's just not enough time. Ooh, BC actually coming out from Tal. That's going to be interesting. And the BC, I think, is a good choice. It's going to be pretty much uncontested. Um, especially as Rush just kind of runs right into... What? <laughs> like, he doesn't even have stim. I can't believe he just ran right into the army, but still able to be effective. Although, that Zeratul... Oh, man. <laughs> Not even a scan going down. Oh, brother. Uh, Here comes Per 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 Tychus. Oh, poor the Dwav. <laughs> he got EMP and he's still gonna fight. <laughs> the Mando is pretty low. He's gotta be pissed. His partner just running right into there. He fed up like Skygrabbers up to 1100 now. He's only eight. He's kind of doing it again. What is he doing? He's running army right in, like he's just standing there. Oh, and losing the Zeratul. To the battle cruiser. <sighs> <laughs> Bottom right should be very happy about that. And top right is not too happy. I feel like ordering a pizza, like, so hard, but it's so expensive. That sounds delicious. It does, but it's so expensive. I bought you, like, four 12-packs. I know. Come on. All... You get pizza. <laughs> no. All the... Mo like, all that money, I just... I keep... For like any equipment or anything if it's needed unless yeah. like somebody has a specific donation like if they're like hey here's you know like five bucks and I want you to buy this you know then I, I guess I could do that I guess I could do that yeah okay Rigger do you want me to get a pizza <laughs> if, if your donation was for a pizza sir I will order that pizza There you go. 
Where'd you write that? Twitch. <laughs> Why did you find Okay. Uh, I don't know how much they cost, but I imagine I can get a pretty nice one for that money. I have no idea. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is this, okay, is this going to be for me, or is this for a partner? Like, am I going to use this for a girl? If so, can I get a butt plug? Because maybe the girl might like that more than... Snowman, you need at least 50. (laughs) (laughs) It has to be black, and it's for Tychus. I'm going to name it the Black Hammer. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If If you guys haven't seen Ride Along yet, you guys totally need to see that. Great movie. Great movie. So funny. And then when I do it, I'm going to tell him, you're about to get the hammer. (laughs) (laughs) I'll I'll be right back. All right, dude. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) Uh, Thanks for watching Rage TV. Alright, so uh, looking, it looks like the Zeratul is level 0 and losing it once again. And it looks like that Mando is up to level 1. Skygrabber Zeratul is still level 0. And top right is not happy, I bet. Losing it twice in a row. Oh man. All right, I'm back. Oh, poor Tigus, he's tired. I don't I personally don't think it's Tigus. I mean, yeah, he might have lost his DT, but like look what his partner is doing. It's, I don't it's really the partner. Like Does he have Stim? No, no he's, he's no got st- two two Zerglings. And which, you know, that's great and stuff, but you don't just run into it like you just he's just running into an army just to do it. You know? There's no skill. That's this is very interesting. Like, he had... Okay, the thing is, is that there was an army here, and an army up top, and then he just runs into that little choke point. It's like, no. Don't do that. I mean, does he even have vision? Well, they, oh, well he doesn't have much vision. So, I mean, maybe he didn't know that they were up top, but... Very dangerous. Ooh! Picking off a Reaper right there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> he doesn't know what we're talking about either. <laughs> uh but you guys at home do. You know what we're talking about. I especially love that the chat is in stream too. I think that just adds a little a little element of of fun. Definitely. And if you guys happen to like it, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. And let's just take a look at the units here. It looks like two armor, three attack for the Zerglings. Luft at two attack. He did lose his DT twice. Bottom right is at four attack, and he also upgraded to Marauders. Marauders have been very strong recently. Temple Zealots. That's going to be a really nice combination, actually. Um, no attack for the Marines. That's, I think Marauders do pretty good against Temples. They do against Temples, but, um... I mean, uh, nobody really... You know what's weird? They don't do so, very well against Warps, but they do surprisingly well against the Temples. Um, 
they they both so like they both soft counter each other. But if you look, Zer- like Zealot originally counters the Marader. Like Yep. Originally. Hard. So I well, don't know. A regular Zealot's armored. Right. When you when you go to t- Psionic. Yeah, which is a shame. Yeah. Should stay armored. <laughs> but war warp zelts are armored. Yeah. <laughs> okay, finally, a decent use of these Zerglings from Rush. Just God, strange decisions coming up from Rush. And he's saving up for uh something. He's got eleven fifty. Might be going a I'd hero. Love, I'd love to see an airplane. Oh, he's losing so many units here. Oh no, and he's feeding these Zerglings so hard. He should not be engaging Marauders. Tal actually has a really good position. All the Marines are in front. What the only, the only thing is, is he doesn't have the range upgrades, so he's not able to shoot. And oh, a nice task start coming out for bottom left level 2. Oh, and instantly killing that DT. Great scan from Searing. Very nice. And Luft is just not having fun right now. Oh, poor guy. It's to be Luft fair, has, it is like almost 1 o'clock. Luft has 1,100. Wonder what he's got going on. Well, Rush just spent his money. It looks like he actually got more Zergling ups. Um, has not upgraded... Does he have, like, the spawn? He's got spawn for Zerglings? Okay. That's interesting. He's he's about to feed bottom right super hard. He needs to stay away from the raiders, stay away from... He needs to stay away from everybody. 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 Chupacabra needs to turn off the marines and mess up them more. Mm, Chupa does have warps. Low supply, though. Let's mm. get rid of them marines. Yeah. Six attack up for Tal. Ooh, these raiders are Sniper. looking good. Snipers for boob. <laughs> I like how his name is Venari, but, like, he's boob has sniper. <laughs> he's a boob. He's a boob. He's a booby. I like the name Venari. Like, I think that's sick. It's like, you know, like... <laughs> okay. It's like naming... Like, you know how some dudes, like, if they would name their penis, it might they might name it Ferrari or something. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I could see it as a penis name. Like, it'd be like, are you ready to see Venari? <laughs> Roll Warrior King. I'm about to unleash Venari. <laughs> <laughs> It's a total dick name for sure. Like even just the name Ferrari, when you hear that, like it's that's a sick name, you know. And of course, it it's a symbol of power. So I would totally name my dick Venari. I think you just did. I I would love to. It's too bad somebody <laughs> took it. Cause I mean I can't really name my dick Ragey Poo. I guess like are you ready to see Ragey Poo? Like <laughs> if I said that to a girl, she's gonna be like, no. <laughs> Do you want to see the rage? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If I guess, I guess if I get the right girl for me, she's gonna be like, "Fuck yeah, let me see that rage, bitch!" And I'm gonna be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh man, I think I'm in man. love. Ooh, Colossus goes down. Snowman commented, "What did he say, Snowman? About- what'd you say? Name penis Ferrari because they're fast." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, when you just think of Ferrari or, like, Lamborghini or something, you know, like, it's it's just an exotic name. So, of course, you would name your penis that. I mean, I would. Or least. a Bugatti. Bugatti. Bugatti's, like, okay, it's not as out, like, okay, I think if I named it, it's Ferrari. Like, that's more, but if it's, like, Bugatti, 
that kind of sounds like a pasta dish or <laughs> like <laughs> like hey you want some bugatti <laughs> <laughs> some, some fettuccine so i wouldn't name my dick after a noodle because you know like unless it is, it's a it is a noodle i mean unless it's an al dente noodle like <laughs> or an uncooked noodle you don't you don't want to be named after something that can be very limp is what i'm trying to get to <laughs> those warps should be right up on this ramp should be right there <sighs> These raiders should be uh, upped. They have no range. And down goes Tass. No, no, in there it is. The boob killed it. Good job, boob. Boob! <laughs> Rush pushing in, and actually, that's not terrible, but... Rage more fitting, because I don't want no one-minute man. <laughs> 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 Damn it, snowman. Can you only imagine you're on reach T B Ah Mashanima approved <laughs> <laughs> We're putting that on stream <laughs> And tell the girls smack her ass thanks for watching Rage T B <laughs> Uh, we have fun here, guys. <laughs> we we have fun. Definitely. Feed not denied. So tankling's an interesting choice. It's gonna be good versus snipers, but I feel like that's it. <laughs> oh, t just moving like those single tanklings in there. Ooh. Green rage quit already. He's gonna rage quit here in a second. Yeah, he's about to. Seems like he's not very happy with rush play, and because like I I, okay, if you look, rush is higher than than left right now. But I f I feel like just some some of that early play. You know, thought I might be avoiding this kind of play. <laughs> I should, oh, I wanted to say so. I I was totally gonna say we thought so too. <laughs> I'll say it if you don't want to. Do it. <laughs> yeah, we thought that too. <laughs> because his play was not very good. <laughs> it really wasn't loved. Like, me personally, I don't feel like it was. But, I mean, Rush is, is doing better. And he's got tanks, which is great for top left, but... No support for left. Yeah. But hey, this is Semi Masters. So, you know. Semi Masters with a couple Masters. I would say, yeah, there are a few. Um, Sky Grabber? Sky Grabber. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, let's just, let's just be real. I would say Tal is definitely up and coming. Searing yep. for sure. Um, Searing solid. Searing solid. <laughs> He's a solid player. Yeah. Um, especially with that super quick scan to kill that zero tool early, but uh, oh, nice! See, look at that. Mm. Okay, so uh, Sky Grabber right though, I feel like in a lot of older games that I've seen, he runs in a little bit too much. Um, it's kind of a, I guess you could say, just like an all in, uh, all in style player, which does work against noobs, but um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call him a master, but um, I would say definitely everyone else is semi-master. I don't know much about Luft, though. Well, <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but record doesn't show very good. Mm. But records don't matter. I don't know. I mean, if you look, Skygriber has a decent record. Yeah, Skyward does. He's on a 16 game win streak right now. Yeah. Right on. Tells on 7. I'm just. I personally am not prepared to say Skygrabber is a master. That's all. Just because I know I can beat him. But. That being said. 
I think he's good either way, though. Well. I mean, I don't... You are right. I don't know about Master, but he, he's he's got a good micro at times. Yeah. I disagree. <laughs> but that's just me. No, that's cool. It's okay. We're agreeing to disagree. That's all. It's good. Correct. Maybe in more recent style play, it's just different. It's just because I've seen so many scrims where he just goes all in DDs, and you should just see how they were. But granted, maybe he's evolved. You know? Maybe he's, he's getting better. I mean, this isn't a, a bad record. Like, I wish I could see his percent. Um, he's got to be like, what? That looks about 80%? And after that many games, that's not bad. If you can keep 80 after that many games, that's not bad at all. Yeah, that's pretty close to 80%. It feels like it, right? Yeah. 1538 yeah. win uh, 1248? 1528 is many games, right? Yeah. How many 15, wins? 1538? Uh, 15, 30, yeah, 1538, 1538, and then his his losses are, uh, well, his wins, I'm sorry, are 1248. So, that should give you the percent. Eighty-one point one percent. Nice. See, that's yeah, that's not bad actually for you know that amount of games. That's that's good. Um, it's not bad at all. Rush has left the party. Wait, why'd Rush leave? Because his partner sacrificed. Oh. Left, just stopped building everything. So Searing and Ali Hoyan are actually not too far off, but Tal is starting to get ahead pretty bad. Like that's that's a pretty big lead, so it's um, a max task, so so that could change a little some things. If he gets hit by uh by those Marauders though, I feel like the slow could do a lot of damage. Plus with that zero tool. All right, here we go. They're they're going for it. Wasn't the best storm, but I think that was more positional than anything. And Alohoyan killed the Zeratul. Not a bad engagement at all. Eight attack marines. They are at 5.25. He needs that range upgrade. And no, he should not be fighting that. There we go. <clears throat> he has one attack up for the temples. Nine attack now for... Oh, I don't... Hmm. Okay, he needs that range upgrade for sure. That range upgrade would do better than that attack upgrade. And if Skygrabber is able to finish off top right, that's actually going to be huge. He has one savior, though. So he could use it. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> he waited for both of them to be there and then used it. That's funny. And then he made Banelings. That's super funny. 
He too bad he didn't burrow him. That would have been just hilarious. So nice little pickoff for Tal actually. They lost some units there though, so uh, Skygarp is going to be a little bit behind for just a tiny sec. It's going to allow Searing and Alahoyan to catch up, but Tal with those two big pickups, ooh, that's going to be great for them. And Ooh. really, I'm surprised that bottom right does not have an Overseer yet. Uh, sure. Overseer would be great against the Tass. I mean, they, they do have the Zero Tool. Hello, Big Bad Babar. Is there someone new? He's a, he's a poker guy that... I talked to and I, t I told him to watch the stream. Right on. Uh, he's not so in he's, yet, I don't think. Well, unless he's avoid. Is he avoid the nine to five? He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a Twitch account. Uh, but he's he's. Well, he's watching. Well, what's up, dude? Hope you enjoy the stream. And you know, you missed some really hilarious shit earlier. <laughs> we were having a lot of fun. Oh no, this towel. Dived in a little bit too much there. Is he going to have enough here, though, to get rid of Skygrabber? He doesn't have enough for a storm. Well, he has one storm. He's got a storm. There we go. Good timing. I feel like Searing... This is like a recap from last game. Searing's partner almost dying. <laughs> but this partner's a little better. Oh, way better. Way, way, way better. For sure. And so, see, Searing and Halloween are not super far behind. It's really just going to depend if Tal and Sky are going to be able to kill off top left, or if Searing does. If Searing's able to, they're going to pretty much tie it up here, and yep. that'll be big. Yep. That task doing work. Ooh, Alohoyan doesn't have any units there. Wisely stimming, backing out. Should have a little Medibabe or something. It does have that support tower, but it's, uh, it doesn't heal the units up quite fast enough. He needs that last range. He's got 10 attack and not even full range yet. I know. He definitely needs that range. He's not going to be able to contend uh, with the Marauders there. He had, look how far he has to move up just to get into range and losing so much in the meantime. That range upgrade is a big, big difference. It's really costing him. Not so much on the points, but just the army size. Look at that, 132 now supply. Oh, that's not good. And his command center's at half health. What's your uh, What's your buddy's name? We'll give a shout out to him. Uh, if it's Big Bad Babar. Big Bad Babar. Thanks for yep. joining the stream, buddy. If you happen to like it, go ahead and make yourself a Twitch account. It's very fast, easy, and click that follow button. I'll be streaming uh, whenever I can, and maybe you'll catch Rigor and myself doing a little bit of commentary. You can not oh. hear my dog. Can you? No, 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 I yeah. can't. No, but look, Searing coming out with Destroyer. Oh, okay, well, bottom right totally counters those Destroyers. Yeah, it's interesting choice. It's going to be good against the Sniper. I guess maybe Searing is just thinking about going after those Snipers. Should do decent against the warps, I suppose. Splash damage for sure. But he definitely needs to avoid middle. No. The only thing he's got going for him is the fact that he has that level 7 task. And that's going to keep the marines and hopefully keep the marauders back. He does, I think, one shot. 
But uh, since those Marauders do counter the Destroyers, he's got to be extra careful. Rigor, your typing is so OP. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Alahoyan. Why? No. Okay. Well, that's pretty much over. So, I feel like bottom right should win this at this point. Without a doubt. Because that just put him so far ahead. Those warps need a little bit of health. Yes. Wait a minute. When did Chupacabra leave? Oh, I don't. I don't know. No, Searing, stay away, though. Oh. Stay back. Even though Searing, it, that task kind of evens it out. Oh, ooh, big blink. Big Almost blink. lost. Yeah, that task definitely does change the playing field, as long as he can keep it alive. Yeah, it did get a little bit laggy there for a split second. But uh, I think that blink avoided some of that task damage. Very nicely timed. Maybe Eloyne can give his Tassadar maybe a nice friendly heal. Maybe? Hmm? Maybe, maybe uh, just do uh, uh, a little bit. Alright, so he does have to be careful here. He could get caught out of position. Big blink in, and down it goes. And Alahoyan blocking him from the retreat. This sh should be over. It. This is very safe to say that it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Siri, uh, say it. still has the savior still. No, this is over. Alahoyan got blink and just blinked around. Right like... <laughs> it's over. As soon as he got blink and... Yeah, that's over. A blink was totally unnecessary for this army. Yeah... Important oh, so to note, much. though, top left does have the Superman colors. And if you kind of look look at the minimap, it looks like a face. Look, there's two eyes, a mouth, it's open, and it's spitting out, like, it's like puking either the blue. <laughs> 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 like, it totally is. It <laughs> definitely does. It definitely does. It, lo it, looks like, it looks like the face. Like, there's the nose. And then its eyes are open. It's like, Bleh. <laughs> I don't know if that's just my imagination, but it totally looks like it. Or uh, maybe like this is kind of stretching of maybe like skull and crossbones because like you know like bottom left has like a little pocket right there. Those could be the bones, and then this could be the skull. I guess I, I can't explain the top right part of it, the blue part, but. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you repositioned a little bit. It's just like the other day. All the clumped up stuff kind of looked like... Uh, like, uh, what was that called? The Captain Crunch? It was like the Berry Crunch, or what was it called? Crunch Berries. Uh, crunch Berries, yeah. Totally looked like Crunch Berries. Like, see? Now, look at top left. It's starting to look like a Crunch Berry. Yes, it is. Actually, it's starting to look like a jester with his hands in the air. Look, look right where the CCs are. That's the top of the jester hat. The the two mercenary spawns are his hands, and then there's a big round body. <laughs> uh, it's close. Can you, yeah. Can you see it? More well, like it's more like a top hat. 
a top hat uh, or crunchberry <laughs> or, well crunchberries there yes it's got that grainy look to it a little crunchberry he needs to put a little stripe of warps right down the middle <laughs> Still kind of looks like a gesture to me. Have you ever played that Sega Saturn game? Um, do you remember it was called like, oh, what was it? It was like called Knights or something like that, or, oh, but it was spelled like, like N I G H T S, like not not like a knight from Camelot. It was like Knights, I think. And you could fly around, and you had to go through like these loops and get score like a top score and stuff. It was very, it was like extremely hyped back in the day. Um, I remember being a kid, I was about 12 years old or so, and Sega Saturn was promoting it. And it was kind of like their, their all-in campaign, like they really pushed for it. I'm going to look up Sega Saturn Nights. Nights into Dreams is what it was called. Nights into Nights Dreams. Nights into Dreams. And down no. Nights into Dreams was super sick. I loved playing it, and it was beautiful. And that's kind of what it reminded me of, because the the protagonist in it is like a it's like a flying person with a jester cap, not the same colors, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just I don't know how it reminded me of that, but that's what came to my head. You're on Rage TV. We have fun here. We have a lot of fun here. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, Tal is really, really taking a super far lead. Look at that, he's at 17,000. Just pulling ahead, just taking the feed while he can. Oh, Alahoyan trying to push forward, but the warps come gets, in. Gets pincered. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, bad, bad run. He should have just stayed and fought. He did. He ended up stopping for a split second. So, trying to recover his losses there, and I think I would have. Maybe moving those temples back, he didn't need to. And Skygrabber, there we go. He had his uh, DT right there. Late scan, but it was able to uh, be picked off. Hey, I'm, I'm going to call you back in a minute. All right, bud. All right. Well, guys, it's just you and me now. And uh, it's a little bit late. Hope you have that glass of wine and... Listening to those easy tunes because Ragey Poo is about to bring you the best game ever. <laughs> You're on Rage TV. <laughs> so really, there's not like a whole lot of action going on right now. It's kind of a little down. Everybody lost um, a huge amount of Marines and 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 their supply is very low. So we're just going to basically be sitting here waiting for everyone to uh, to catch up. In the meantime, if you haven't already, go look up Nights into Dreams like I was talking about earlier. It's actually really, really great. Um, I know, Snowman. I know. Sad day. It really is still going, and that's a shame. And now an Archon coming up. Interesting move. Um, <laughs> getting there. But no. I'm doing a bunch of wacky shit. So the Archon is going to be good because he definitely needs the hit points. Um, Marader actually does pretty well with the concussion shells. Um, unfortunately, even though it's, it's technically a massive unit, it does get slowed. It shouldn't, though. They should take that out. Um, 
So that's really the only danger, but having that extra hit points is going to be nice. Sacrificing the hit points, though, for all the ability... Like, level 7 Tassadar has mana for days, and that's actually a really nice save. Uh, probably could have waited just till a little bit more, pushed that savior out maybe just a, just a sliver, and he would have got all those units, um, because he did not back out. But uh, sometimes you have to make those judgment calls. And now he only has one save left. He's actually researching base defenses. Which I don't I don't think he actually needed to. Might be getting that planetary. No, I think he's instead he might be favoring some anti-unit towers. There they go. And now we just sit and wait. Phoenix coming out for bottom right. That's an interesting pick. All right, Phoenix. <sighs> it's time to lean back in the chair. Very surprised that the game is still going. Bottom right has about a 5,000 point lead. Um, more than that, 6,000 point lead at least over a Searing. And that's going to make a difference. Um, the only thing that he's really going to be able to do to catch up is he does have that Archon at least. And hopefully picking up the Phoenix. Now, finally, Alahoyan has something he can look forward to because he picked Blink. Completely unnecessary this game, however, as soon as that Phoenix popped out, it's now viable. So we'll see how this plays out. Bottom left still has a little bit of a chance, surprisingly. And are they going to go for it? Alahoyan is gearing up. Trying to get into position. And here we go. Here's the battle. Stim. Is Tao going to come in and do anything? No, Tao's just kind of sitting there. He does lift off. His army is not coming in, though. There we go. And oh, no, Searing. Uh, not in any position to help his partner, and that was bad. The storms go down. Another big storm. Phoenix tries to come in. He's got to be careful of the Marines, though. And, you know, that engagement from Alahoyan would have been fine if Searing would have backed him up uh, and made it to where Tal couldn't come down that that ramp. But in all reality, Searing should be fighting uh, Skygrabber at any possible time and avoiding the Marauders. The Marauders just counter both bottom left. Specifically, the Marines and the D uh, DT. The destroyer. And I guess technically the hero. Hmm. Alright, so Searing's uh, Archon did get lifted off, I think. No, actually, it, it narrowly escaped. And Venari coming down, he is going to be able to hold mid. And that's going to allow Searing to just kind of come up and deal some damage. There we go. Needs to spare that storm, though. He doesn't need to storm too much. And now they're going to hold middle. And if they can hold middle, they kind of have a chance here. Tal still 5,000 ahead, but Alahoyan is catching up. And since he is going that strong marine play, he's, he's actually not in a bad position. He's way, way ahead of Skygrabber. So... Let's see what Tal's uh, Marines are at. He's at 12 attack, no armor. And he's at 7 armor, 15. 116 hit points to 175. So he does have the hit point advantage. However, that's a lot of damage, a lot of armor coming out for the Marines. Okay, and top left is gone. This is the opportunity that Searing and Alahoyan need. And one of them has to hold mid. Oh no, neither one of them are going to go and hold mid. They're both going top left. 
There we go. Oh, Alahoyna's going to get so much money from this. And there we go. Searing holding mid. He does use the Guardian Shield. And as long as he can hold mid, he's going to be fine. But Tal trying to come in. And that Phoenix could be focused down. Where's the scan? Oh, there's a uh, force field right there. Big Blinken. That Archon is way downtown, though. And he escapes. But Searing losing a big army. And Alahoyan lost his whole army? Uh. Wow. Okay. And since they both have double support tower, this Archon could be in trouble. Save comes out. Big Blinken. And now bottom left doesn't have any saves. But they were not able to kill top left. Oh man. That's not that's not good. Since they both had support towers, actually Searing didn't need to go middle at all. Um they both could have all in and picked off uh that that whole base right there, and that would have brought them right toe to toe with bottom right. And now they're struggling. Bottom right is going to have a decent lead now. So we're pretty much just watching and waiting, guys. I think Skygrabber is going to lose a little bit of army here. Those snipers are pretty strong. Yep. Losing his lower meter. Alright, so, uh, oh, Searing needs to storm. Losing the Archon, it's over. The only saving grace really here is Alahoyan. And he needs to, to start dropping the base. Let's see if he ends up doing it. He hasn't dropped yet. Oh, but a drop would do wonders. He's he's leaving his base wide open too. He could at least get the barracks. But forcing out that extra save would be huge at this point. And they both should probably go and try to pick off this army. As it is out of position. Sitting in middle like this is, is kind of not the right idea. Yeah, they're a little bit behind, but... Uh, they do need to start going out and hold middle. That was their opportunity there. And now this is just going to get harder. And bottom right will be able to re to claim all those towers. And wow. As soon as SD comes, they're going to be in big trouble. The only thing they have going for them right now is just this high armor marine. Eight armor is really not that bad uh, for the marines. It's pretty good. Needs to start pumping a little bit of armor on the temps, though. And they both need to use Guardian Shield here. Alahoyan, uh, his temps went too deep. Now he doesn't have a front line. And he's losing. Mm. Mm -mm. Guys, if you play Marine style, your front lines are super duper important. Um, the only time that you sacrifice them is if they're low tier. You know, if they're if they're tier one um, zerglings or anything like that. Even cracklings, you gotta you gotta preserve. And. Uh, Running in his army like that with, with nothing behind it. He lost all those temples.
and now their small lead is really starting to show. It's it's going to start getting bigger and bigger. If they keep playing wise. This is really the only saving grace is this Archon here. Yep. He's going Dark Archon. Which I don't think it's necessary, but... Um, if he goes Dark Archon and if he pumps armor, it's actually not bad. The Dark Archon with armor is pretty good. But again, he just has to be careful of these Marines. 17 attack. He should get hero damage. He doesn't have the uh, the money for it. But if he gets hero damage, he's going to do at least 25 damage. Or no, higher than that. Uh, 29. Hey, what's up? What's going on? You know, I actually heard the uh, the ring come from uh, my phone. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's how I knew you were calling. <laughs> <laughs> it totally came from my phone. I heard from uh, my phone, it was like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> I was like, oh, someone's calling. That works. Yeah, it totally worked. Because I'm set to busy. So I don't get notifications. This but should be this should be interesting. I think the Dark Archon was a a fairly good choice. Yeah. He was losing his air. Void much. lift. Void lift. Archon gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the like Alahoyan has the perfect opportunity to kill the oh Too slow. <laughs> like Fail. What is the APM going on for for Uh Nothing. He's just not paying attention. I don't think. Might be giving up. And this Phoenix. What? The Phoenix could have been totally focused. Oh, I think they're just choking here. No, Alahoyan, pull your front line back. No. Why? Oh, I hate seeing that. Decent storm. Yeah. The storm is starting to show its weaknesses, though. Yeah. And really, these destroyers are, are very, very low attack. Only six ups. No! Pushing his RB4. Oh, no! Guys, I've said it time and time again. Don't focus the heroes. Get the army first. I know you want to. I know you want to. But, like, if you, if you fail, the army has basically just got four or five shots off on you. And you're going to lose half of your army, and it's just not worth it. I can't believe bottom left is even still in this. Yeah, I, this should have been over. I don't know why it's still not over. <laughs> Well, he hasn't been uh, too successful with the liftoffs. Um, he's not picking up the Archon. Yeah. So the Archon has been alive for a while. But if you look, Skygrabber has barely been into this game, and he's got almost the same amount of kills as this Archon that's for Searing that's been in here for a while. Well, he had to respawn it because he lost it once. Yeah, but he had that Archon out longer than this Dark Archon. Oh. He, yeah. he doesn't have very very many kills. These Marauders starting to get pretty strong. And if maybe if he upgraded his attack just even one more, he'd be able to one-shot. Because he only does 414 damage. Hmm. All right, it's SD, so anything goes here, guys. And Skygrabber and Tal are going to get a little bit of a money increase. Why are you not focusing that Phoenix? It's so far out there. 
the Elohoyan with the big blinkin' and they're lo- they're choking this. What? Yeah. Nice storm though. Oh wow. How is that Phoenix still alive? Oh wait. <laughs> Bottom right losing a little bit too much army there. Push and take mid. Push and Push take and mid. Ta- Get those towers and and you know what they. Well, Tal does have a pretty big army in the beginning. No, no, Eloian. Go middle. Go middle. Oh my Christ. Go to middle. If Searing loses his army because they're out of position here, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna eat my shoe. There either. Oh, don't fight him. Eloian, get back. What are you doing? Don't fight there. <sighs> nice force. Phoenix is gonna eat you. I would like to see some mind control, Searing. Mm, yeah, he's not saving money. Make them kill their own heroes. Skygrabber's Archon just bullied through, and they yeah. they lost this. Yeah, this is over. Oh, that Archon is almost armor capping Searing's Marines. You know, Dark Archon is so much stronger than HD Archon, I feel. Yeah. It's just, it's a tank. If he keeps pumping the armor like that, he's going to be just fine. It's it's basically a Honey Badger, I mean, at this point. Stronger than a Honey Badger. A maxed Honey Badger with three armor. I don't think it even has 13.5, does it? Oh yeah. Yeah. If it's if it's max and it has three armor, it's gotta be it, it's at least fifteen to seventeen armor, I would imagine. Okay. Gotcha. okay, so the hold does go down on the Archon and also the DT Archon, but losing the HD. And, and this is point. Kind of... And that's it. There was a, a small moment right there where he they had something. Mm-hmm. That is game. And Searing has left the building. Priest and Eloin will too. 20 attack. Oof. So strong greens, but just not enough. And there goes that fortress. Maybe switching those support towers to uh, anti-unit towers would have made a big difference, too. Or even an anti-hero. Anti-hero, yep. not so much. I, I think the anti-unit tower is just a solid tower. And there we go. We should see the victory screen here. There we go. Badass Sky Grabber and Badass Taldarimimu. <laughs> are your victors here today uh, Rigger thanks for joining us it's no problem at all and in case you guys didn't know Rigger is also the proud new leader of Clan Pew Pew so give him a little shout out yeah and uh, guys if you happen to enjoy the stream click that follow button it really does make a difference for me and uh we're up to 88. I want to get to at least 150, hopefully by the end of this month. And that's not going to happen unless you guys click clack that button. Thanks we for... Can... What's up? I was saying you can do it. You can do it. Clicky click. And thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and it. I'm so- Ragey Poo. What's up? I said and buy a soda. Buy, it, buy a soda, please. <laughs> buy me a soda. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, we'll see you later, guys.